now set to have its first completely online bank in operation by 2021. And here with some of the details is consumer behavior expert, Dr. Vili Abram. Thank you so much for coming in today. So what, what does it mean to have this digital bank? Well, a digital bank, first of all, we have to uh, talk about the difference between the, s the digital services that are available today. Right. So when you talk about digital services, you're not really a digital bank, and that's what a lot of the banks... It's a digital interface because with a It's just digital interface. So exactly, being to able make... to pay your bills online, basically. Exactly. Right. Well, but when we're talking about a digital bank, by the way, one of the biggest banks in Israel has a digital, a digital bank, which is called the sure. Pepper Bank. Uh, but it's not really, really a digital bank because according to the strict sense of the word, in order to be a digital bank you have to have a different infrastructure and be completely disconnected from any bank so it's something that is virtual and allows uh, a lot of it provides a lot of benefits to consumers like not paying fees for withdrawing cash and, and also if you not have, have a, a overdraft well uh, I'm just thinking about the crazy lines that you have to wait and every time you need to make any transaction at the bank here in hours. Israel yeah which is something that I just cannot believe still is happening right now so tell us a little bit about how this is going to affect the banking system as a whole in Israel because mm -hmm. I imagine it's going to turn things over completely and people might lose jobs, right? Uh, yes, people might lose jobs, but I'm sure that they, they will be doing other things behind the scenes. But the thing is that it, it, it means a lot for uh, Israeli uh, customers right. because, first of all, it means that you don't have to wait in line. It means that you don't have to, if you're ordering a, a check, you don't have a check a, a book, you don't have to go to a bank, get it. If you want a credit card, you get it home, you don't have to go and sign for it. And the major thing is that it will open up competition. In Israel, we have very little competition right. between the banks, and that's, that's where we're paying true. so much money, so many, so much fees. Now, what does this what does this mean for certain people who are maybe not who don't have access to Who don't know to, how to use a computer? Who don't know how to use a computer or don't or don't necessarily have access to all this digital banking. That's a problem. It means that the senior citizens of the country will not be able right. to benefit Which from this unless problem. there is somebody, a family member, or a significant other that can help. Mm -hmm. uh, however, today, regular banks do offer a lot of digital services, and when you come to the bank, you can benefit from them, and there is a customer right. service representative Well, I'm sure there's there. still going to be banks on the ground here. It's yes, not like definitely. they're disappearing completely. It exactly, but when we're talking about a strict, you know, the strict sense of the word, digital mm -hmm. banks, we're talking about banks that will not have a physical branch. Oh, wow. wow. Completely virtual. Unbelievable. Well, it's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out next year. Really, thank you so much for being with us.